Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and this is video log number 72. This is kind of a response video to Tim Osman, JLB and a guy called Nikon. I think it's 1242, 12X42 Nikon, who has made a video about me based on my comments. And at the moment, that's a very interesting subject because Comments are the reason that myself and Amir from channel Insanity is Sanity had a little hangout to talk about Tim Osman. Now Tim Osman has very little accountability because we don't know who he is, we don't know who his name is and fortunately John Le Bon has created a nice little false dichotomy as he phrases it. Two shit choices that we can pick between one photo or the other when there's a really good third option that's not being presented and that option could be presented by Tim Osman. Now, I have frequently said that this doesn't bother me, so people might say, well, why are you doing anything about this? And it's because people I care about are affected by it and do care about it, and I care about them, so indirectly I, I can do something about it because I'm in a unique position that I don't care about the abuse that might come my way as a result. Now, bearing in mind that the guy's video is about me being abusive in comments, I'll be the first to say, I am. I can be extremely abusive in comments, and it's a mask. Having spent some time in the company of psychopaths, I know how easily people without empathy can put on a mask and become a completely different person. And in this instance, I have. I've become a complete monster. I've sunk to the level of Tim Osman, very deliberately and in a measured way, and I've given it a lot of thought. And I'm doing it because I'm accountable. So when someone sees my comments saying that, you know, I want to see a photo of his dead brother, people might think, God, that Nathan Oakley guy is absolutely sick. And they've got a means of contacting Nathan Oakley and saying that, I think you're sick. And I'll say, yeah, that part of my persona is pretty sickening. And I'm using that part, a very deep and dark part of my persona, just to expose what Tim Osman is doing. And I'm doing it in a way that's, I don't want to say clever and blow my own trumpet, but I'm doing it in such a way that highlights the fact that Tim Osman is a cartoon character. He's a faceless potato. He is a nobody. So if we give credence to his stories about a dead brother being hung by a vacuum hose, what evidence have we got that he isn't an only child? We don't know anything about this person. But this person has the, I think impunity is the right word, to go around as a faceless potato publishing people's addresses and it's not on. I can take that fight to him because it doesn't matter how many response videos that are two months old, you know, he's, this Nikon guy is responding to a comment I've made and it presumably points people in the direction of my comments which are currently pretty dark. Uh, so this is an explanation for that. I'm only directing my evil comments towards a cartoon. So if we pretend for a moment that Tim Osman is Mickey Mouse so we substitute the words Tim Osman, which is a cartoon, for another cartoon, Mickey Mouse. And Mickey Mouse's brother recently died. And I can reenact what actually happened to Mickey Mouse's brother, because here he is. Can you see him there? And uh, what I'm going to do is recreate what happened. So this is a little, a little rope. Let's get that. And let's tie that around Mickey Mouse's brother's neck. There we go. I've got him there. Now let's just lift him up so he's on his toes. Can you see him? Let's give him, give him a bit more breath. There we go. Or we can jolt him. Ah! There we go. Broken neck. Uh, Mickey Mouse's brother just dead. But it doesn't matter because it's a cartoon. Now, if Mickey Mouse had a name and was a real person, instead of just the voice behind Mickey Mouse, that voice was a real person, that would be sick, twisted. But unfortunately for Tim Osman, he's a cartoon. Now, I'll publicly apologise for the evil things I have said to that cartoon should Tim Osman come forward as a real person. Or he can choose to, as he's suggesting in his comments, take the coward's way out and run away from YouTube. Now, I don't mind either way, but this bastard needs to be taught a lesson. If he comes forward and people take out their anger that they've been lied to about the globe lie on this proponent of it, then that's a dangerous position to be in. I wouldn't want to be Tim Osman right now. On the other hand, if he runs, runs away from YouTube, like he says he's going to, jolly good. We can all resume normal business talking about the eye level horizon. <laughs> I've been Nathan Oakley. 
I'll see you all in the next video.